Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting. Priscilla here with another quickie sticky unboxing. I know that you guys know that I am super excited to unbox this. So we're gonna jump into this. Sticky is a monthly sticker subscription uh, club box envelope thing. Um, it's like $11 a month, although I think their prices are going up, but then they're going to add more premium items, so I'm looking forward to that whole thing. I will link them below so you guys can check them out. Uh, not sponsored, but could be. Um, but I just absolutely love them. I love this this subscription, um, and I get it every month, and I get the um, pop pack and the vintage pack. There's one more pack. It's cute. I don't get that one, but that's also an option if you're into cute things. Let's see which one we're gonna open first let's do this one I remember which one we did last time so there's no official order whoever sealed this really went for it sometimes you can just pop them open sometimes I get them and they're open not that that happens a lot but whoever did it this time was keeping it on lock Ew. these are so pretty so, the theme for the vintage pack this month was Ever After. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but you guys can always check out their website. They have a bunch of stickers and, like, washi and, like, cool stuff there. But you can also see, if you ever, like, see, like, a pack that I have, sometimes they have, like, the past packs um, still available to purchase. So that's always an option if you see a pack you like and you want to go check it out. Again, not sponsored, but I have bought old packs that I missed out on and I actually wanted. And so that's just, like, a... A nifty dude if you are interested so let's get a white thing so you can see these this is a really cute stamp I don't know if that's showing up because the lighting is a little funky but we're gonna work with it it got less focused and then focused there we go it says an enchanted land on it it's this really cute little castle so it's perfect for the theme ever after and then for the little notepad we got, um, it's this really cool one with like a a bunch of birds attacking this kid on a horse. If you know which fable or uh, fairy tale this is, let me know because it looks really familiar, but I cannot place it right now. But that's really kind of cute. I like that. And then bump into the stickers. So we got this one, which is really nice. It's got. <laughs> 100% these are the same images I used in um, my In the Stars kit. So it's kind of nice to have these small ones. I definitely know what I will be pulling out when I use that kit to make a journal. And then there are these really pretty like classic fairy tale like Arthur Rackham-ish. If not Arthur Rackham, then um, maybe that other guy, Charles something. But um some classic fairy tale images so I love those those are by sticky club this one is also by sticky club it's the alphabet and that's actually kind of nice it's different um because usually they do numbers but I kind of like this little alphabet fairy tale deal it's really cute sorry I keep hitting the camera because I'm right under like right up to it Although I could just drop this down and then I wouldn't have to hold the the stickers up so high. But these are nice. I like those. Those are pretty. And then we got these little note card, post-it style ones. I love all the fairies. So they definitely dug deep and went like with vintage classical images for this one. It's really nice. And then... Well, this one is by Noelle Illustration. That's her name there. And she did the stamps for this. And they're stinking cute. And maybe I need that paper back. Maybe that's why the focus is being crazy. Yes. But these are cute. They're so dreamy and whimsical. Kind of wish I had these for my last journal. Some of them match that paper pad really well, but these are still really cute. So I definitely will get some use out of those. And then these are by, sorry, 
I need to figure this out. Maybe this. These are by Hope Christofferson. Professional. Um, and they are like these dreamy landscapes. Definitely fairy tale vibes. I love like the, the textures of the art here. There's a lot of pointillism or like halftone shading, which I really like. This one's really neat. And they're all like clear stickers, but they're on a white background, which is nice. Although the background is like marble paper, actually. So maybe I'll like see if I can salvage any of it when I use the sheet and get little tiny marble circles or something. But yeah, these are really cute. And then the last one, which looks like this is the odd duck out because it does not match the style of the others. These are by Lainey Levendula. Hope that's how you say that. And these are really cute. Look at the little mushroom fairy. And I love like this little prince, like princeling, a little knight. The little witchy hat is cute. This dragon is super cute. Love that. And I don't know what this guy is. Like a butterfly angel wizard light keeper. Somebody write a fanfic. And I love this princess. Super cool. Love this set. Lots of fun fantasy ideas here. So I'll pop that off to the side. And we'll crack open the pop pack. See, like, the person who did this one was like, two, two sticks is all it needs. Envelope. The theme for this one is Forces of Nature. That sounds exciting. Look at that. That's really cute. I realize I never show these to you guys. Um, it's like a popsicle. I'm interested. I'm interested. Intrigued, even. Ah, sorry. I need to figure this out. I don't know why I did not hit the camera this much last time. But this time, we're apparently hitting it every five seconds just to make sure it's still there. All right, now that the compulsory thing is done, you can get a little stamp here. And it's this cute little like fiery heart. So that's really cute. I can see like writing little tiny messages in these too. So, like that. That one's neat. And then, for the notepad, this girl who's like a bird she's like a bird in this like cloudy background I'm gonna say she's like a bird like a little wind spirit with her little aviator glasses yeah she's cute now I think about what I can use that for you already love this so first up We've got crystals with zodiac signs and constellations in them. Or it looks like the constellations of the zodiac signs. Which is really fun. I love that. That's going to be fun like in a book of shadow spread. I can use these as the symbols for the zodiac. And I'll just add that little extra special touch. They are foiled. Although the lines are so thin that like the foiling is hard to see. Like you can't see the what's written without like turning it a certain way because otherwise it just kind of disappears but I'm not mad at that I like that yes and then the next one we have these are by Makochi Jenny Makochi these are cute these are like really fun elemental water type like people look at that like waves dress with the sunset coloring so pretty. I love her. She looks like fun. This guy looks like he's like right out of an anime. And he's about to challenge me to like a battle. I don't know if I'm ready for that level of intensity, but these girls are cool and I love a jellyfish anything, so that's awesome. And then these are by Owly Jewels. She was the one who did the notepad design. 
And these are her little like moth and bird people. So there's a little bird girl. And look at these little moth aviators. They are so cute. I love these. And I love that there's like little tiny birds for the background and then like slightly bigger birds. There's some really nice cloud formations. Love a little aviator profile. These are really pretty. I love these. There's like a, oh, it's like a Slavic myth of like harpies. They're kind of like harpies, but they're like, um, they're more like sirens, but they look like birds. I don't remember what it's called. Like sue me if you remember, put it down below. Um, but they have like the body of a woman with the wings of a bird. I think they also have the lower body of a woman too, if I'm not mistaken, but like that's what this reminds me of, but they're so cute. So then up next, ooh, we got two from the same artist. Love when they do that. This is from Parakid Shop. Or from Parakid, who has Parakid Shop. And there are these like really earthy, a little bit like uh, Art Nouveau-esque like motifs of these people. I love her in the sunflowers. That's gonna be my favorite already. So pretty. I love these. And I definitely like the vibe of these ones. These are probably going to be my favorite from this pack. Even the little pumpkin girl. Look at her. She's so cool. There's a lot of like fun harvest elements here too. I love the poppies. Yes. These are great. I love these. And then for the little sticker notes, sticker, sticker squares, post-it stickers. I don't know what these are called. I feel like they have an official name, but I don't know what it is. These are by Savin Art. And they're like food, like these little jelly clouds and fiery chips and little desserts. So they were the ones who designed the little um, triangle sticker with these like magical, mystical, elemental foods. So those are fun. And they have a sheet of stickers by the same artist. There's a little fish. I do like the food type of things, but not like a lot, cause I don't do it a lot. But like, I, I like to use the food stuff for my journals. So those are cute. And then the last one, which, oh, it just one favorite, um, automatically by default. This is by Water Le Moon, or Water Le Moon? Le Moon? Water Le Moon? I'm gonna think, I think it's that, because Water Moon. It's definitely not Water Le Moon. But whatever, whatever it is, they're witches! And I love them! Look at this solar witch. I love that. I want to see more solar witch stuff. I could do that. I'll put it on my list. Oh, look at how magical these are. So I love these ones, of course. Hands down, these are my favorite. But these ones are definitely strong contenders for favorites as well. I love this pack. And I like that it was like a good mix of practical and cute. Because sometimes when they do the pop packs, they're like really leaning into cute territory and I'm like nah if I wanted a cute pack I would get the cute pack but I like that and I like the classical feel and I missed a sticker look at that you were stuck I was like oh okay that's all we got not super adventurous but okay but she was stuck okay let me plus this up it's like on a washi paper type a sticker, so it definitely needs the back so you can see the colors pop. This is by Nicholas Tower. Love her. I love having like a POC in a fantasy setting. We need more of that. I've been reading some good books with POC and high fantasy like settings and um, yeah, they're delightful. But look how pretty these are. I love it. This one's my favorite from this pack, hands down. 
they're great. She's great. Wonderful work. Beautiful. I'm gonna put that at the front so I remember that they're in here. But yeah, how good was that, you guys? Let me know which one you thought was the best. Which one was your favorite from this month. And, um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you remember any of the things that I forgot and said to comment about, comment those, please. Because I am genuinely interested, but too lazy to Google it myself. Um, and, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. I will catch you guys all in the next one. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate your faces. And, and until next time, happy crafting. Bye!